people, I'm Bharat Acharya. Welcome to our new lecture on C programming. Yeah, 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 it's still C. But it's looking so different because this is Turbo C. The C platform in its purest form. So, so far we've been doing lectures on uh, uh, VS Code. All the programs that we did were on VS Code. We will still continue to on VS Code. But uh, this is how I learned C. This is how many college students are still learning. So, the feedback that I got from students for this whole for the course that we've done so far some students said sir we are still doing turbo c please do at least one full lecture on it so that we are comfortable with that platform yes the program is practically the same a few minor changes the platform is so raw it's so pure uh, for me you'll find you'll find me smiling throughout the lecture because this is how i learned programming this is like my backyard anyway so what are we doing today uh, so there are some interesting things that you can do on this platform. It's, it's not that you can't do on uh, VS Code, of course you can, but then there are so many complicated things that you do set up VS Code for that. So you're branching away from learning C and actually spending too much time on just learning the VS Code platform to achieve what we can achieve over here like this. Like for example, this is what we're going to do. Uh, do you know the multiplication table? Yeah, the sound and the delay, both. So this was a multiplication table for for loops that we had seen, something similar we'll see today. Then we'll move forward. We'll make something like this. Yeah, exactly. With the sound, with the delay. Now, the both functions, sound and delay, are so much easy to implement in Turbo C because, like I said, it's pure. It's just directly connected with the processor system. It doesn't have to go through the various layers of OS to get permissions to access all this. Whereas in VS Code, you have to do a lot of setting to get the same thing done. It's not that it can't be, but like I said, then you're deviating too much from the actual topic that you're learning. Absolutely. Do you think something like that is tough? Oh no, think again. It is very simple. By the end of today's lecture, you'll be able to generate those patterns. All right. So continuing with our learning of for loops, we're going to be making nested loops today. I took this opportunity as the right lecture in my mind to uh, show you how the Turbo C platform works and the advantages of it. As I said, the delays and the sounds, the things that you create. You know what these sounds do? If you keep the note of the sound uh, equivalent to your I value, the iteration value, you understand how your iterations move ahead. Uh, those who have computer graphics, I also teach computer graphics. Someday I will make a course of that also. I keep making these fun videos which are there on my Instagram and various other profiles. So uh, when you're making a circle or when you're doing those filling algorithms, uh, using delays and sounds shows you exactly how the algorithm works. That teaches you better than any teacher can teach you because you're seeing exactly how the pixels are plotted. And like I said, with the correct sound, you get the whole uh, idea as to when your X coordinate is changing or when your Y coordinate is changing, depending on how you set up your sound. Anyway, so that's what we're going to be doing. Like I said, it's much easier than what it looks like. And it's going to be a lot of fun. Once you do this, once you know how to do this, I bet you there will be some students who won't come back to VS Code, would want to continue on this platform. It's equally good. It's just that it doesn't do autocomplete. When you type for, it won't make the whole block for you. You have to type everything yourself. So the chance of making a, a syntax errors are a little more. And uh, yeah, the vice versa. So both platforms have their own plus and minus. But uh, I, want, I wanted to do one video at least completely on this platform. So the students who had requested for this, this is for you. All right. So now we're going ahead with the lecture. The entire lecture and the entire course is there on my website, bharatacharyaeducation.com. The link is given down below. Click on the link, register yourself as a user. You'll see a bunch of courses. This is, of course, the C programming course. Click on the course, uh, make the payment. As soon as you make the payment, your course becomes active. You can start watching the videos as many times as you want. Your subscription is active for six months. Watch the videos over and over again. These are programming videos. There's nothing to remember or by heart in it. This is a playground. What I'm doing is I'm teaching you the rules of the game and then letting you free. How well you play and how good you become as a programmer. It's all in your hands. The number of hours you put in front, front of the computers on this desk, on this platform and keep typing code, you keep getting better and better. And like I always say, programming the skill, once you know it for one language, you got the skill. Then the language changes, syntax changes, but the skill is the same. All right. So hope to see you there. Wish you all the best. Do well. We are going ahead with the lecture.